Hi, this is Peter Morgan from thedjpodcast.com, and in this video for digitaldjtips.com, I'm going to be going over how Sync works inside of Tractor Pro 2. Even if you're a new user of Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2, you're probably already aware of how awesome the Sync function really is. Let me show you an example of how you might use the Sync function in your mix. Let's say you have a track on the left that's at 132 BPM, and a track on the right that's at 137 BPM and you want to beat match these two tracks together. Let's start by playing the track on the right. You can see here that master is selected. That means that when I sync my track on the left, it's going to automatically be at the right BPM. When I'm ready to mix in my track on the left, I'm going to click the sync button. You can see that it now matches the BPM, and I'm going to press play. Now I'm ready to mix between my two tracks on my mixer. They'll be in time, and I won't have to do any manual beat matching. Mixing two tracks together is all fine and dandy, but what if we want to dive a little bit deeper into how Tractor Pro 2's Master Clock really works? For that, we're going to want to open up the Master Clock options by clicking on the metronome icon on the left. Here you can see that we have all of the different options for Tractor Pro 2's Master Clock. By default, you'll probably see that Master and Auto are selected. By having auto selected, Tractor Pro 2 automatically assigns the master BPM to the BPM of one of the tracks it's playing. So for example, let's say I start playing the track on the right. You can see that the master clock now is set to the track on the right. So what is the advantage of having auto turned off? Well, this means that Tractor Pro 2's BPM is going to stay consistently synced to whatever is set to the master clock in this case, 137 BPM. This is important if you're gonna be mixing more than two decks together, or if you're going to be mixing samples together with songs. It's also important for syncing Tractor Pro 2 to another program like Ableton Live or Machine. Now let's talk about some of the other options within the Master Clock section. You can manually enter a BPM here by double-clicking and typing it in. You can also tap the tempo out, decrease the tempo, or increase the tempo. You can also pitch bend down and pitch bend up. These are all really important if you're going to be mixing with another DJ that maybe is using CDJs or vinyl, and you want to mix out from his last track to the first track of your set. You can also send MIDI clock information or receive MIDI clock information if you've set that up inside of your preferences. You can also click tick, which will enable Tractor Pro's internal metronome. So let's talk about how we are going to use this in a real world example. If you want one consistent BPM throughout your entire mix, or if you're going to manually change the BPM throughout the mix, you're going to want to deselect auto and keep master selected. That will provide a consistent BPM throughout the mix, and all of your songs and samples will be set to this BPM. If you're going to be mixing between two decks, you're probably going to want to have Auto Selected. That will enable you to control Tractor Pro's master clock depending on the deck that it is set to. I hope you learned a little bit about how Sync works inside of Tractor Pro 2. For more videos of mine, check out thedjpodcast.com. And don't forget to visit digitaldjtips.com for more great blog posts, reviews, and articles about DJing in the bedroom and out in the clubs. Thanks for watching.